Hello, this is Apostle Robert Bryan of the Place of Healing Church located in Columbus, Ohio. I would like to talk to you for about five minutes on what the Bible has to say about the word hum humble slash humility. So let's pray and get right to it. Spirit of the living God, I want to thank you right now for allowing me to speak to your people. I pray, Heavenly Father, that the words of my mouth represent the meditations of thy heart. In Jesus' name, all God's children said, Amen. The Bible uh, says that humility, uh, the word humility is the personal quality of being free from arrogance and pride and having an accurate estimate of one's worth. The Old Testament connects the quality of humility with Israel's lowly experiences as slaves in Egypt, uh, referencing them to as a poor, afflicted, and suffering people. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 26 and 6, and the Egyptians, e Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. Bondage, meaning that we were up under someone's thumbs. They were up under someone's term, thumb. The Hebrew word translated as humility is, is similar to another uh, Hebrew word, meaning to be afflicted. In the Old Testament, thought, Humility was closely associated with individuals who were poor and afflicted. Uh, what God and, and, and so what we need to understand about what God thinks of us thinks about humility is this: God desires most is uh, is not outward sacrifices, meaning we don't have to walk around looking like we don't have nothing. We don't have to think like we don't have nothing. We don't have to think all of these crazy things. But what He wants us to do is to be of a humble spirit. Psalms 51 and 17 says, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Such a humble spirit shows itself in several ways. A recognition of one's sinfulness before a holy God. Obedience to God, submission to God are two of those ways. Additionally, in the Old Testament, we are promised the following blessings when we humble ourselves. Wisdom, good tidings, and honor. The experience of many kings documented in the books of 1st and 2nd Kings and, and of 2nd Chronicles indicate that those kings who humbled themselves before God were exalted. And in the same books, those who did not were afflicted. The New Testament, however, says this, Jesus Christ's life what provides the best example of what it means to have humility. In Matthew 11 and 29, he says, take my yoke up on you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. And the only way to do that is to bow down to him in humility. Jesus often preached and taught often about the need for us to have humility because it's hard to follow someone when you can't humble yourself before them. And, and, and so God says, whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. He urged those who desire to live by the kingdom standards to practice humility. And that practice of humility is not just meant for us as congregation members. It is also required of us as pastors, us as leaders of the faith. We are to be more, we are considered the moment we take the office of a pastor as servants to everyone that we serve. I went through a terrible experience earlier in the past year of my life where I was expected to be humility to some, to be humble to someone who actually wanted to place their thumb on me. They didn't want me to be uh, humble. They wanted me to be completely subservient to them in such a way that it would deny me as a person. That's not humility. What humility is, is being able to follow someone and the person who leads you being able to have compassion to your soul. And so the person with humility does not look down upon others. He he also he is a person who is closely connected with the qualities of gentleness and and, 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 and the quality of humbleness. God resists those who are proud. He provides grace to the humble. 
primary in the New Testament is the conviction that one who is humility, who has humility, will not be overly concerned about their own self pride. The New Testament affirms, as does the Old Testament, and God will exalt those who are humble and bring low those who are proud. The Greek word arbored the quality of gentleness or humility, but the Christian community believes that these qualities are worthy of us as a people. So as I close out this five minutes with you, I leave you with this. The pathway to revival is the way of humility. It is how we, we, we get salvation in the Lord. And it is found in the, in the book of Chronicles, the second book of the Chronicles of the Kings, chapter 7, verse 14, when the Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear in heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear the, heal their land. This is the way to humility. You got to turn away from whatever it is you're doing that's not of God. You have to opt the responsibility to seek God while he may yet be found. And when you find him, never let go. Humble yourself at his feet because the Bible says that he will exalt them that shall be abased and he shall humble himself. Shall He who humbles himself shall be exalted. So don't exalt yourself. Humble yourself before God. God bless you and good night. He will consider you humble. Amen.